The revolution that blazed across the Arab world reached Syria in March of 2011. When residents took to the streets to protest the torture of students, the government responded with heavy force. Anti-government demonstrations quickly spread. Syrian President Bashar al-Assad and his well-armed military have kept a tight grip on power for more than a year. But many analysts say the regime's days are numbered. Do you think Assad will survive? I don't think so. Why not? Because, you know, it has at least uh, minimum 80% of the population against him. It might take a long time for him to fall, but he's not going to survive. Mr. Assad and much of the country's ruling elite belong to the Alawite sect, a minority in the mostly Sunni country. Some Muslims question whether Alawites follow true Islam. Of late, Syria has few friends in the Arab world. Arab nations have pledged $100 million to pay opposition fighters, and the Obama administration has agreed to send communications equipment. The world will not waver. Assad must go and the Syrian people must be free to choose their own path forward. Some analysts have derided the prospects of a peace plan brokered by UN envoy Kofi Annan, which calls on the government to cease fire on April 10th, with opposition forces following suit. But Middle East Institute scholar Daniel Serwer thinks it's a step in the right direction. Continuation of the violence is not in the American interest, it's not in the Syrian interest, it's not in the international community's interest. Longtime ally Iran will stay by Syria's side, analysts say, but some predict Russia may abandon its traditional friend. Their primary concerns will be port access and arms sales. And, you know, at some point, a, a dictator who's on his way out is in no position to guarantee those things. Analysts expect that the opposition in Syria will gain further international support, and they urge rebels to assure minority groups they won't be persecuted. Most agree that the discontent with Mr. Assad has grown beyond what he can control. Laurel Booman, VOA News, Washington.